we can and will be heard. We can tell our own stories. We can make you feel what we feel. And see what we see. We can bring great ideas to life. We can change the world. See what we can do. Aloha mai kako. I'm Leslie Wilcox, President and CEO of PBS Hawaii and your co-host for this special online event, the announcement of the 2015 Hiki no Award winners. Joining me is Donna Tanoe, President of Bank of Hawaii Foundation, the founding sponsor of Hiki no. And Donna, thank you so much for being with us today to help make these much anticipated awards. Well, thanks Leslie for having me. I had the pleasure of helping you last year with the announcements of the 2014 winners. Now that was exciting, but this year, the anticipation is even greater. I think that has to do with the growth of the Hikino Festival, where all the nominated stories are screened at so many public venues. Wonderful crowds. Last year, we did launch the Hikino Festival, and as Donna mentioned, this year it expanded in size and reach. Students, teachers, principals, other educators, and community leaders attended screenings at the historic Iao Theater in Wailuku Maui, the Palace Theater in downtown mm -hmm. Hilo, the Aloha Theater in Kealakikua on Hawaii Island, on an inflatable drive-in movie screen under a full moon at Island School in Lihue, Kauai, and on the largest screen at the Ward Consolidated Theaters in Kaka'ako, Honolulu. And Donna, you were in the, at the Wailuku screening. Mm -hmm. what, what was uh, your impression of the Kandu students? Well, there was a lot of great energy, and I think nervous energy, but really positive energy. And I think the kids were there to support not only their own schools, but to support one another. And they came as far as you know, driving in from Hana. And they were so generous to each other. And they are so inspiring. Well, the suspense over today's announcements has been mounting, and we'll be getting to them in just a moment. But first, a little background on how the awards are run. Okay, so the nominees for the 2015 Hikino Awards were selected by the Hikino production and editorial staff. All stories from the school year were eligible. Selection of the nominees was based on a set of criteria for each category, and we'll explain the criteria for each category as we progress through the awards presentations. There are nine categories of awards, Best Personal Profile Middle School Division, Best Personal Profile High School Division, Best News Writing Middle School Division, Best News Writing High School Division, Best Home Base Middle School Division, Best Home Base High School Division. And a brand new category, Best Cinematography, High School and Middle School Combined. And finally, Best Overall Story, Middle School Division, and Best Overall Story, High School Division. Ten veterans from Hawaii's journalism, broadcast, and production industries served as our judges. Each judge privately viewed the nominees in the categories they were judging and scored them on a scale from one to 10. The nominee with the highest cumulative score in its category wins and the judges didn't consult one another. That's right, no copying. <laughs> the Hikino Awards are school awards, not individual awards. Each winning school will receive a beautiful custom Hikino Award clear acrylic shooting star trophy with the school's name engraved on it. And each winner will also re receive a $1,000 gift card from B&H Photo that can be used to purchase equipment and supplies for the school's media program. That's up from last year's 500 bucks, so the stakes are even higher than before. Trophies and gift cards will be presented to the winning schools in October. Okay, sounds good. I think we're ready to begin, and here's how it's going to go. We'll announce the award category and read the judging criteria for that category. We'll roll a trailer that identifies all of the nominees in the category, and then Donna will announce the winner. The first award is for Best Personal Profile. A personal profile is a hikino story that centers on an individual. Judging in this category was based on the following criteria. Did they create a compelling portrait of the featured person? Were they able to use interviews to tell a strong, structured story with a distinct beginning, middle, and end? Do you feel you got to know the featured person? Were the visual elements compelling, and did they help to tell the story? And the nominees for Best Personal Profile Middle School Division are... Kapa'a Middle School for Fire Knife Dancer. 
cheapest Kamakahele Middle School for Papa Food. King Intermediate School for DJ Aisha. Lahaina Intermediate School for Security Guard. Seabury Hall Middle School for Marching Band Director. And the winner for Best Personal Profile Middle School Division is... Here we go. Seabury Hall Middle School for Marching Band Director. Well, that's great. I was, congratulations to Seabury, the former Marine, former Southside Chicago <laughs> teacher who who used to have a strategy of shouting. And that <laughs> is not the way you do it at Seabury. <laughs> <laughs> but what he's doing works beautifully. Congratulations. And now the nominees for Best Personal Profile High School Division are... Mid-Pacific Institute for Mark Yamanaka. Keala Kehe High School for Red Cross Volunteer. Hana K through 12 School for Songbird of Hana. Campbell High School for Dancing Team. Iolani School for Summer Kozai. And the winner for Best Personal Profile High School Division is... Iolani School for Summer Kozai. Remember that story? Oh, congratulations to Iolani. What an inspirational story of a, a quadriplegic uh, graduate of Iolani, um, viral meningitis, making a great life for herself with an assistance dog. Her parents came to the Honolulu screening with her. Talk about resi resilience and being inspiring. And what a well-told story as well. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. The next award is for best news writing. Judging in this category was based on the following criteria. Did they tell a compelling, well-thought-out story? Did they clearly present the information needed for the viewer to understand the story and or issue at hand? If it was an issue-based story, did the reporter provide differing perspectives on that issue? And did the story hold our interest? And did it end with a satisfying or thought-provoking -provo conclusion? Was it well-written? The nominees for Best News Writing Middle School Division are... Maui Waina Intermediate School for Sports Complex. Aliamanu Middle School for Ms. Lee Loy. Eva Mackay Middle School for Tech PE. Hongwanji Mission School for Father Coach. And the winner for Best News Writing Middle School Division is. Here we go. Maui Waena Intermediate School for the Story Sports Complex. Oh, opposing sides on that, a community issue. I remember the lieutenant governor was interviewed. That's right. And I remember in the audience watching this story where was mayor. That's right. Senator the mayor Baker. was there to watch it. A uh, very, um, very tuned in audience. And congratulations to the school. Congratulations. And now the nominees for Best News Writing High School Division are... Kua Okala Public Charter School, Miloli Ihipu'u Virtual Academy for Mauna Kea TMT. Waimea High School for Historic Waimea Theater. Kalaheo High School for Battery 405. Kamehameha Schools Kapalama for Never Alone Video Game. Maui High School for All Pono Sports. And the winner for Best News Writing High School Division is... Kua Okala Milolii Hipu'u Virtual Academy on Hawaii Island for Mauna Kea 30 meter telescope. Congratulations to this charter school in Milolii where the students do a lot of their work on picnic benches. And it was such a well-deserved recognition for this very well reported story very difficult story to cover in a balanced way we've seen that with adult reporting mm -hmm. yes congratulations let's move ahead now to the next category best home base every hikino show is hosted by a home base school which is what we call it through mm -hmm. the course of the show the hosts weave a story about their school and community through a series of vignettes the judging for this category was based on the following criteria the on-camera and or voiceover presence of the hosts, their diction and articulation, <laughs> expressiveness and confidence. 
the production quality of the host shots and accompanying visuals, the creativity and writing quality of the vignette scripts, and how well the vignettes give a sense of what it's like to be a part of the school and or the community. The nominees for Best Home Base Middle School Division are... The Pa'a Middle School. Punahou Middle School. Kamehameha Schools Maui Middle. And the winner for Best Home Base School Middle School Division is... Kamehameha Schools Maui Middle. Middle school. Congratulations. That was the story about the legends of the area where the That's school right. is, the I clouds and the, owls. and the winds. Uh, congratulations. You know, this, all of the categories were tight. I, I, I remember thinking this one was an especially tight one. Congratulations. And now the nominees for best home based high school division are Kua Okala Public Charter School, Miloli'i Hipu'u Virtual Academy. Mid-Pacific Institute, Kaiser High School, Island School, Lelehua High School. More great competition and the winner <laughs> for Best Home Base High School Division is... Mid-Pacific Institute. Mid-Pacific Institute in Honolulu. Congratulations to Mid-Pacific. Uh, wasn't that the one about the ghost? The Holoku woman oh, walking through right. Kauai Ho uh, at, on campus. Very, very wonderful background. Congratulations. Up next is a brand new category for the Hikino Awards. This is Best Cinematography. The categories thus far have been about storytelling, writing, and the on-camera presentation of hosts. But digital storytelling is a visual medium, so we mm -hmm. thought it appropriate to recognize excellence in the way pictures are crafted to tell a story. The judging for this category was based on the following criteria. Does the lighting, shot composition, choice of camera angles, and overall visual aesthetic create a mood or express an emotion appropriate to the story being told? Does the cinematographer display a mastery of his or her equipment? Do they capture the magic, beauty, and character of the people and places they photographed? Was it a visual story? Now, because this category included high schools and middle schools together, it has the largest number of nominees, total of eight. And these nominees are... Hawaii Preparatory Academy for Waipio Valley Taro. Island School for Champion Bodyboarder. Kamehameha Schools Maui Middle for Kula Farmer. Kapa'a High School for Kauai Juice Company. Maui High School for School Safety. Waiakea High School for Two Ladies Kitchen. Waianae High School for Water Safety Heroes. Waipahu High School for Following Victoria Cuba. These are your 2015 Best Cinematography nominees. I want to keep looking at the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> the winner for Best Cinematography High School and Middle School combined is... They were all so beautiful. Wainai High School for Water Safety Heroes. Providing beautiful ocean action. Congratulations, Wainai. The final category is for Best Overall Story. Big one. Judging in this category was based on the following criteria, Donna. Do they tell a compelling, informative story? Do they use an effective combination of imagery, the written word, interview, sound bites, and natural sound? Was the pacing, in terms of the editing and the speed of the reporter's speaking, appropriate to the story being told? And was the reporter's presentation clear and commanding? Did the story offer something of relevance to the general viewing public? Did it follow good journalistic practices? And the nominees for Best Overall Story Middle School Division are... Waianae Intermediate School for Beauty and the Beast. Kawaihona Okanao Ao Ao Public Charter School for Ka'ahaina's Thanksgiving. Tifas Kamakahele Middle School for Plantation Coffee Company. 
Wheeler Middle School for climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Maui Waina Intermediate School for community service. And the winner for best overall story middle school division is... Here we go, this is a big one. Waianae Intermediate School for Beauty and the Beast. Waianae Intermediate with the story of the crown tiara and football helmet, a girl who did beauty pageants and football. And congratulations, Waianae is on a roll, I think. I think they got this last year. Second year in a row to win overall, which is a big category. Congratulations. And now the nominees for Best Overall Story High School Division are... Waianae High School for Stressed Athlete. H.P. Baldwin High School for Anti-Meth Teen. Kona Waina High School for Sticking with Lacrosse. Waiakea High School for ACL Injuries. Maui High School for Avalon Angel of ALS. And the winner for Best Overall Story High School Division is... Baldwin High School on Maui for Anti-Meth Teen. Congratulations. Wow, Maui, that was a big award, tight competition, and what a wonderful story of a, mm -hmm. of a, a young Maui woman whose father was a meth addict, and it was about her life with and without him with yes. a happy ending thus And far. I always remember that, too. She was so balanced in her outlook on life. And the father Just participated inspiring. in the story. Mm -hmm. Very well-told story. And that was our final award. Congratulations to the winning schools, the nominees, all Hikino teachers and students for your exceptional work, all those featured in the stories. Before we sign off, here's a recap of all of the 2015 Hikino Award winners. The award for Best Personal Profile Middle School Division went to Seabury Hall. The High School Division Award went to Iolani School. The award for Best News Writing Middle School Division went to Maui Waena Intermediate School. The High School Division Award went to Kua Okala Public Charter School Milo Li'i Hipu'u Virtual Academy. The award for Best Home-Based Middle School Division went to Kamehameha Schools Maui Middle. And the High School Division Award went to Mid-Pacific Institute. The award for Best Cinematography, High School and Middle School combined went to Waianae High School. The award for Best Overall Story, Middle School Division went to Waianae Intermediate School. And the award for Best Overall Story, High School Division went to Baldwin High School. Again, this was not a softy contest. These were some, the, the, the judges, uh, you know, the, the margin was so small, so if you did not win, come back because you were probably quite close. Congratulations, everyone, and let's go again for next year. That's right. Thank you so much for being the first, the pioneering broadcast and online sponsor of Hikino. Bank of Hawaii Foundation makes it possible to make your educational project a television show in prime time. Well, it's wonderful to, you know, support all of these talented youth throughout the state. It's our honor and privilege. That's right. We want to see you go and grow. <laughs> Aloha. Hui ho. Aloha. We can bring great, great ideas. ideas to life. We can change the world. See what we can do.